Hey, before I start the video, man, uh, shout out to Wash on the Daily, man. Go follow him on Instagram. Uh, go follow my guys over there. They do giveaways. They have this name, that Rare Skin Series on their Instagram story. They have a lot of dope stuff. So please go ahead and follow my IG at Wash on the Daily, WSH on the Daily. Shout out to those guys over there. Uh, 14,000 Instagram followers and counting. Uh, the fastest growing Instagram on the Instagram space when it comes to our Washington Commanders. Take command. Hit that follow button. Enjoy the video. Quick question, y'all, before we start this video. Uh, who's the real engine of this offense? Is it Jahan Dotson? Is it our number one wide receiver, Terry McLaurin? Or is it our uh, Jitterbug, our versatile weapon in Curtis Samuel? Let's find out today's video, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Run that intro. Let's get it. What's up with y'all, man? It's your boy ProTech, and I'm back with another video. I get to award the God for our God rights right now. God love and do all guys. And G's name for you, man. Today's video, I got a video uh, that I have done we don't want these videos in a while talking about a player. But today I'm talking about Curtis Samuel, man, and what does he mean for this offense and the impact that this man has made in the first two weeks of the season. And why do I think that he's the key to keep having this Washington offense ascending? Let's get to this video. So as you guys can, uh, I'm going to read the statistics real quick for you guys. I want to share my screen, but uh, my, 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 my screen sharing isn't responding the best right now. So right now, Curtis Samuel has 15 receptions for 133 yards, two touchdowns off 20 targets. So 15 divided by, 15 divided by 20 is about 75% of his targets. He's catching 75% of his targets. Got two touchdowns. He has 15 receptions. He is the engine to this offense. Um, that's what he came here to do. And I think that's why he is the key to take this offense to a new level. Han is your big play guy and clutch play guy. And Terry's your bread and butter. When you need to make a play, Terry's going to always be there to make a play for you. And I'm not saying Terry doesn't need more targets. But Curtis Samuel is the engine that get this offense rolling. And that's what I like about this offense. You have an engine in Curtis, you have a big play guy in Jahan, and then you have your bread and butter. Hey, I got I need 10. I need I need nine on third down. I'm going to Terry. I'm going to Terry. I don't care he's doubled. I don't care I'm going to Terry. And I love Terry McLaurin, but he he is a guy who's your bread and butter guy, which I love a lot. I love a guy that is a true wide receiver one. That's what he is, the true one. I know some people say, oh, he's a two for real. He's not really a one. Uh, dudes take him out the game. And I believe that some corners can take Terry McLaurin out the game, if need be. If elite corners can possibly take him out the game sometimes. Not all the time. Not even most of the time. Not even half the time. I'm just talking once in a blue moon it can happen. So when that does happen, you have a guy in Curtis Samuel who is already your engine of your offense, and he's playing against number three corners. He's going to whoop them all the time. And you put a linebacker on him, he's whooping him too. He's not fast enough to stop uh, stop uh, Curtis Samuel nine times out of ten. So you put a linebacker on him, you put a safety on him, you put a third cornerback, uh, a slot corner on him. He's eating them all up, bro. He's not playing against CB1s or CB2s. He's eating them boys up in the slot, bro. You can throw them outside. They can run with dress sweeps. You can run, you can run him out the back as a running back. He's the engine that gets this offense rolling. And that's when everyone else eats. That's what that's when Terry's gonna get one on one. Because now they're getting because Curtis has nine targets, seven catches for 78 yards and a touchdown. Oh damn, now we have to go check. Now we have to kind of give more attention to Curtis. So now everyone's eat. He is the engine to this offense. He's the player that's going to unlock this whole thing. Him 
and probably Antonio Gibson too. I'm gonna give Antonio Gibson some love in this video as well. Those two guys are the engine to this offense that's gonna open it up for everyone else. That allows Terry to get one on ones. That allows Jahan to get one on ones. That allows all these other guys to do these things because now they have to worry about what Curtis is gonna do in the backfield and at the slot receiver position. If he's if he keeps doing what he's doing, which is 15 catches for 133 yards every week. He's going to be a 1,000 yard receiver. So he leads he leads the team in receptions and catch and, and uh, receptions and receiving yards. That's for a reason. Not because Terry McLaurin ain't great. Terry McLaurin is great. I you know I think yeah matter of fact Terry might lead the team in yards I think but uh, Curtis leads the team in receptions. That's for sure. So. He's the guy. He he is the guy. He is the X factor to this offense. Take this offense from being really good to being great. And without him, I don't think this offense will be rolling as much as it, as it does when it does. And I think by giving him the ball the way you're doing, you're allowing everything else to open up with the big plays. Because now they kind of put their safeties a little closer. You know, instead of playing – too deep look. They're playing like too shallow, like a little, little bit more shallow. They're not playing 25 yards of the ball, playing like 15 yards of the ball. Maybe and they might put a guy close to the box. That's when you go play action fake. That's when you know you run double moves with, with Jahan. Run double moves with Terry. You know, Terry's not great at it. Run double moves with Terry now, because now I'm running the ball well with Gibby, if you're running the ball well, of course. And then now I have Curtis catching all this underneath crap. Now that you're allowing me to nick on down the field, but I'm scoring points while doing so. So now you're like, God damn, I'm tired of these 10 yard, these 12 yard games, eight yard games here, this here, that here. Now they're going to play up. That's when you hit with the big hitter. Bow! You're on the bomb. Bow! Bomb! Bow! Bomb! Like, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, Curtis Samuel, shout out to you, bro. I'm glad you're healthy. I'm glad you're ready to go. Uh, you had 20 touches in the first two weeks. I want to keep you want to keep you uh keep you fresh, but you are the engine that gets this offense going. So shout out to Kurt then, man. Shout out to Kirk up. But yeah, that's how I feel about Curtis right now. Uh Curtis is the key guy to get this offense to a new level. And what do you think about this? What do you think about this video in the comment section? Do you think Curtis Samuel is the key to this offense that is taking the next step forward? Or do you think it may be running the football better when Brian Robinson comes back? That could also be a key to take this offense to a low no another level. Or a guy like Deami Brown actually getting it. That what are your thoughts in the comment section? But until then, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Also, turn post notifications. Oh, get the protest post, get the protest post network. Put God for six six COVID. Um, have a great one. Uh, all remember you must have leg town support choice on special on for technically sound. You will also open time unless part with dedication, man. Protest fans from always also become a channel member. Uh, that does help the channel, helps me help you. You guys will get member only live streams. You guys will upload a video on my channel. You get the top of the top of the VIP. And come pasta, cost amigos, man. You know, smoke some hook in the VIP with your boy Protect, man. Become a VIP Protect member by smashing the membership button. But until next time, be easy. Have a great one. Peace, love, and blessings to all of y'all. Until next time.